Guys, we are about to do something on this channel that we've never done before. But first, you've got to wait through this really long intro to find out what I'm talking about. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Thank you, as always, for tuning in to the channel. You guys are the real MVPs. I feel like I haven't done this in forever. It's only been like a little over a week since I've recorded a review, but for some reason, I feel like it's been years. So I just wanna jump straight into it. In the intro, I let you guys know that we were doing something that was kind of foreign to this channel. And if you haven't guessed by now, we're talking about a pair of Nikes. We've never done that on this channel yet, so it is very cool to break into the Nike world. And what better way to do it than talking about the... Uh, the Nike KD14 Black White. So this pair released on April 14th, and I must say it was a very easy cop via the Nike app. I didn't know what to expect with this release, even though it was coming out on the Nike app. I automatically associate any Nike release with the sneakers app and I know there's no way to get a W on the sneakers app. So I jumped on there, grabbed these in a size 11 and to my surprise, I went back at the end of the day and there was still all of these sizes left. Maybe that's just a thing of like Kevin Durant's a major basketball player. So many kids around the world are going to want his shoes. Maybe they just mass produce these. But then at the same time, you'll see like Kobe's will sell out. So I don't know. But yeah, these are pretty interesting. Let's take a look at the features of the Nike KD14 and see what we think. So the base of this sneaker is multi-layered textile over mesh. There's a lot going on there. It honestly reminds me of like antique furniture, especially with this colorway. Of course, you have the black over the mesh and that mesh is over white. So it kind of makes that white look a little dingy, a little aged. And then of course you do have that orange. You can see the orange peeking out. I know everyone is looking at it, so we might as well talk about it. This is the first Kevin Durant sneaker that has a strap on it since the KD7. So it's been seven models of Kevin Durant sneakers since you had that strap going across the shoe. The Nike logo on the strap is a bit elongated and that's supposed to pay homage to the Nike Bruin. And flipping it to the medial side, to some of you, the way that this strap looks may be a little familiar. This is actually drawing inspiration from the Nike Presto. The bottom of the strap kind of nests into that midsole. And at the bottom of the strap, you do have some cool details here. Those ominous tally marks number 14 for the 14th pair of Kevin Durant's shoes. Also in the middle of the strap, you can kind of see Kevin Durant's signature in there and really driving the point home here. It says 14th edition. Pulling the strap up, you do just have this big tab of Velcro. I don't know how I feel about that because it's very easy for your laces to just get caught in there and get a little bit raggedy, but maybe that's not such a big deal. And right there towards the toe on the medial side, you do have that stitched Nike logo. So prior to the release of this shoe, Kevin Durant was talking about how this sneaker helped him feel lower to the ground. And obviously, whenever someone is putting out a pair of shoes, they're going to be talking it up. They're going to make it seem like it's better than anything else that they've ever put out. But one thing I will say, this sneaker definitely has some comfortable cushioning down here. This Cushlon foam that is used for the midsole is extremely soft and bouncy and that Cushlon wraps around the midsole and on the outer side I don't even really know what this plate is but it's so futuristic though. It makes me think of the scouters in Dragon Ball Z that was like the machines that the Saiyans wore on the side of their face over their eye. I guess that's just an outer plate displaying the full air strobel inside of this sneaker. Flipping the sneaker over to the outsole, that's where they really hit you in the face with that full length Nike Zoom strobel. It says right there in that middle plate. 
and you also have that KD logo stamped on there. And I love that this colorway incorporates this blue and then this splash of yellow just kind of out of nowhere. It really spices up the bottom of this sneaker. Oh, and I didn't even mention on the tongue of this shoe, you have another KD logo. Oh, wow. So yeah, we've gone over the features of the Nike KD 14. Now let's put it on foot and see what these look like. Okay, so I won't even waste time. I'm just gonna jump straight into the sizing on the Nike KD14. I feel like this runs a little bit small. I got these going true to size with a size 11 and my toe is like right up at the front. I would definitely suggest going up a half size on the Nike KD14. Give yourself a little bit of room inside the shoe. But aside from the length, I think that the Cushlon foam and the full Air Zoom Strobel give you nice comfort for a basketball shoe. Ah. Despite the antique look of the textile overlay, I actually really like this colorway as like the OG colorway. OG! There is also the cyber colorway, which is a little bit too experimental for me. I think that this black white colorway is a good base to build off. And we have seen pictures of Kevin Durant with some of the other colorways that will be coming soon and some of them look pretty interesting. I can definitely see the KD14 being a big team sneaker. I think a lot of times you will see, like in college sports, you'll see a lot of players wearing the KDs. A lot of them were wearing like the KD13 last season. We saw Haley Jones when most outstanding player wearing the KD13. As someone from Toronto, one of my fondest memories is Pascal Siakam wearing KDs in the finals when we finally won an NBA championship. Earlier today, I saw a picture of Kelsey Plum wearing this pair. So there's definitely gonna be some players wearing the KD14. It will be well represented. Oh yeah, and I just wanted to remind you guys that this is Kevin Durant's 14th sneaker, which is really big. Not many NBA players get to that point. I think maybe it's only Jordan, Kobe, and LeBron who have that many. So congratulations to Kevin Durant. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of the Nike KD 14 black white. I'm sure there's still lots of pairs out there if you are interested in picking these up. And yeah, thank you guys as always for tuning into the channel. We're getting closer and closer and closer to 1000 subscribers. Definitely going to do something special once we get to 1000 subscribers. I just have to figure out what that is going to be. You guys can feel free to give me suggestions. But yeah, thank you guys for tuning in. If you made it to this point in the video, I'm currently trying to build up my NBA and WNBA basketball jersey collection. So drop a comment and let me know what player's jersey should I add to the collection. As always, you guys are super appreciated and I will see you on the next one. Peace.